hello everyone in this video i will explain the difference between rigid and semi rigid diaphragm and then i will show how to assign diaphragm in edx in building analysis flows can be modeled in two different ways rigid diaphragm and semi rigid diaphragm in case of rigid diaphragm in plane motion is neglected assuming that the in plane stiffness of the slab is very high and in case of semi rigid diaphragm in plane stresses and movement can occur so we have to consider the stiffness of the slab in the analysis model and now i will explain how to assign and define diaphragm in etax so first we have to define diaphragm we have D1, rigid diaphragm, and new diaphragm, D2, semi rigid, okay. So we have to assign diaphragm to shell element. D1. Apply D two okay. and in load pattern lateral load is already defined, so we just have to assign the lateral load. Assign plane load distributed. Global Y with a twenty five kip hit apply. Now we can analyze the structure. We have to check deflection. So you can check over here, semi rigid diaphragm, and here is rigid diaphragm. You can check 3D view over here. Stresses F11 one, one. You can cut the section. Moment and last section cut. Side and left side. 